This is really where we try to find every advantage that we can for our athletes. In a double-blind study, the U.S. Ski and Snowboard Association is testing a new training tool. Early results, it says, are promising. We can already see, you know, some things that have piqued our interest. And we know in the data already that the athletes who uh, have used Halo um, are adapting faster. Halo. It looks like a set of high-end headphones, but on the underside of the headband there are a series of electrodes. They send a low voltage electric current through the skull into the brain. Makers of the device say stimulating the motor cortex puts the brain into a state of hyperplasticity, making it learn more efficiently. We worked with a group of college athletes, highly trained individuals, and we were able to get uh, about 12 percent gains in leg strength over a two-week period of time versus 1.7 percent in a control group. HALO is not just for elite athletes. It's one of a number of brain-stimulating devices being pitched to the broader consumer market. Your brain will become more resistant to stress. Some claim to read brain signals and help with relaxation or enhance focus. Others, like HALO, actively shock the brain using a technique called transcranial direct current stimulation, or TDCS. It still remains an experimental and very new method that we don't understand. Gunnar Blum is studying the effects of TDCS on the brain. He says it has great potential, but he says it also physically changes the structure of the brain. And with no long-term health studies, he says selling the product to consumers is irresponsible. So to me, it is almost equivalent that as um, giving you an experimental drug um, over the counter and saying, oh, just go with it, have fun, because it seems to be like producing interesting effects that you might enjoy. Do it at your own risk, but I wouldn't. The makers of Halo say their data show the device is safe, and they say one day the technology could have benefits beyond athletics. Aaron Saltzman, CBC News, Kingston, Ontario.